Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher. Thanks for checking out today's video, much appreciated. And guys, today we're gonna to talk about what I consider the biggest myth in fishing. If you're fishing for any type of game fish like bass or walleye or pike or muskie or white bass or catfish, uh, this is the myth that I think a lot of people have that really uh, really keeps them from catching as much many fish as they can. So we're gonna go over that and give you guys some tips and advice on how to avoid it. So anyway, guys, real quick, just wanted to remind everybody out there, uh, we got our summer lake map breakdowns up for sale on fishthemoment.com. Um, if you're struggling to find fish on your favorite lake, this is a great resource to get you some good spots and get you started out good. Um, also on our breakdowns, if the lake that you fish is not on our list, uh, you can book a virtual lesson with me one-on-one -on -one and we can go over any lake in the country. So I'll put the uh, Fish the Moment link in the description. Much appreciated with that. Okay guys, biggest myth. I wonder, how, I wonder how many people can guess what this is. Biggest myth in bass fishing, or not, not just bass fishing, but fishing in general, is that um, the fish just aren't biting. Guys, I can tell you right now, um, that is never an excuse. It's like the fish are always biting, always, 24-7, 365 days a year. I don't care what the conditions are, the fish are always biting. And um, I think a lot of times people, I've heard this over and over again, and I, I've even said the same thing myself. It's just like, well, they're just, they're just not biting today. Um, it's not that easy. What it is, it, it's, it's not that they're not biting, it's that you're not catching them. And usually you're not catching them because you're not using the right technique, you're not in the right area, or a combination of the two. So one of the things that's, that um, it ought to be sort of comforting to you to know is that it, every single day you go out there, the fish are always going to bite. You just have to figure out what it's going to take to make them bite. So we'll give you guys a, a few tips on that. First of all, I think um, <clears throat> one of the foundational elements of fishing is that I feel that most fish feed at night. When you're talking about a predator fish, again, it can be a catfish or, or bass or whatever, I think most of the feeding goes on after dark. I really do. I just think that they're, I think that they're more, they chase more, they, the fish roam more, they're looking more. I think, um, a lot of the food chain is nocturnal, so I think a lot of the fish, therefore, are, are the same way. It can be as something as simple as like the frogs being out on the bank more, um, to, you know, having a, ch a chance for the fish to get that. So given that, it's not that you have to fish at night, you just have to realize that during the daytime, you have to capitalize on other aspects of what takes a fish to hit a lure. Because let's say, for example, you're fishing during the daytime, and the fish aren't actively feeding. So you have to figure out how to trick them into biting and get them to react on a lure from curiosity or anger or reflex. That's usually what generates a strike. Unless you're, unless you're fishing like, you know, dead shad for catfish or something where they're just, they're out there feeding if they, and they smell that they're gonna eat it. But for most of the time, um, that's one of the things you have to realize is during the daytime, you have to trick a fish into bite more than you do during the night. And the way that you do that for the most part is either going very natural or going with a bait that creates a reaction strike. Now, what a reaction strike is, it's something that, let's say for, let's say a bass is right here and they see a shad go past them real fast like that. Now, if a shad goes past the bass real fast like that, let's say this bass is sitting next to a stump or something, that shad swims real fast by, the speed of that shad is going to make that bass not have time to think about it. So when that shad's moving fat past that bass, he doesn't have time to think about it. It's like, should I eat it, should I not? A lot of times they just instinctually, because they're a predator, they'll go out and grab it. So therefore, one of the things that you can do to trick fish into biting a lot during the daytime is to fish moving lures fairly fast, whether it be a spinnerbait, a crankbait, a topwater, just get some speed on there and you'll create that reaction strike. Now, the other way that you can catch them is going very realistic and finessey. So let's say, for example, it's the same thing, it's the middle of the day, you're fishing and the water's you know, fairly clean and you put on like a real, like a little three or four inch, like a natural green or watermelon type of a plastic worm. Now, when that natural looking worm in the small size is bouncing along the bottom there, 
it looks real to a fish. I mean, the color looks real. It's a subtle color. Um, and a, a fish is not going to pass up a chance to eat something if it's, if it's right in front of them, if it looks good. So a spinnerbait running past a fish may not look good. It may not look edible, but a little bitty green or watermelon colored worm, that sort of looks like something that could be alive in the water. And therefore that can, that can be one way to catch them. I have found that's one of the two ways that you catch them more than anything else consistently is either fishing a reaction bait or fishing a bait that looks real natural, real slow like that. So um, main thing guys is just remember, don't ever get discouraged. Don't ever go out there and say, they're just not biting, we ought to head to the house. Just try different stuff. I mean, if, you, if something's not working, if you're fishing a crankbait, uh, try something else for 15 minutes. You know, if, you're, if you think they're biting a crankbait, and, but they're not you're not catching any fish on it change up colors change, try a different color for 15 minutes if you try different lures and you're still not catching them go to a different part of the pond or a different part of the lake go on the other side of the pond or go run down the lake three or four miles down there look for some different water clarity different type of cover fishing is a matter of elimination and fishing is no different than hunting you're at, you're actually hunting fish um, you're eliminating unproductive areas, you're eliminating lures that are unproductive, and eventually you're going to hit on the combination of the right lure, the right color, and the right area if you just don't give up and keep pushing forward. So anyway guys, hope that helps you out and uh, we'll talk later. See you.